Plasma rifle. All right, that sounds pretty badass. Oh, I remember revenants. Weak points are the shoulder cannons. You can destroy them, disable long range attacks. All right. Fair enough. All right, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the fact that I didn't have one in reserve. I just sort of assumed that I did. Oh, I don't even have fuel. Missile, oh my. This is not good. Not, not good. Ooh. This gun's badass. It's got a lot of ammo, too, I feel like. Man, those speed boosts, man. Gnarly. And the fact that we can just keep chaining these uh, executions here and getting speed boosts. I'm really happy with my rune choice. I think it was really good. Oh wow. Do we have all these options to go like different portals and stuff? What is this? Looks like my hand. Huh. Oh wow, we can't break this. Maybe we can't break it yet? I don't know. This is where it wants me to go. Oh, do we have to use this somehow? Man, this area is so expansive. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man. Those things. Those things startle me. They get me good. Oh, you can't jump when you're in this. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, with that being said. Can we... Okay, so you can't really dash up. Can I climb this so I can get to where I can jump? Doesn't look like I can. Ah, uh, here, here we go. Oh man, this hit hard. This hit pretty freaking hard. Gotta say, let me pick up this map. Wait a minute. There we go. It's really annoying how it flashes like that. It makes it difficult to see for sure. Uh, okay. Sweet. All right, let's see what's good here. Plasma rifle, we got heat blast. Great finisher after a salvo of plasma rounds. Can clear out a crowd of fodder demons instantly. Damages multiple energy shields at once. Let's see how that works. Firing, ah, okay, here we go. Firing the plasma rifle builds up excess heat that can be released with mouse button two for a powerful blast. Okay. Or we can go with that or microwave beam. Require target, fire concentrated beam of plasma energy will lock down an enemy and cause them to explode on death. Ooh. That that seems good. Let's try that out. There is a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward. Ugh. Well darn. Gotta go all the way around now. I had a feeling there'd be one there. What is this? Ah, it's the power core. I think that's what we can use to put it in there and blow the door. Nice. 
Before we go, did we miss anything here? We pretty much get what we what we needed. There's a secret in here. I want to make sure I'm exploring enough. Looks like there might be a way in through there. What about these portals? What's going on with this? Ah, it takes you to either side of the room, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, I think they just take you to the other side. That would've been cool in combat, just dash through like that. Confuse them, misdirection. I like it. But it seems like, for right now, the way forward is the way to go, right? Yeah, until I can get up under here somehow. Maybe when I go through there, there'll be the way to do that. Can I make that? I guess we'll have to find out. Oh yeah, easily. And we need the second boost for that. Codex. History of the Sentinels, Part 2. Translation from Ligur Sultagenta, Book of Kings. In the time of grief, when, it, grief, when King Etrex, Etrex took the throne, a blessing came to the people of Argenta. White porcelain beings from a world above our own brought gifts to Denur. Observers to our great deeds, admirers of our convictions, they sought to make bond with our swords and bring lasting order to our world. These were beings unlike any we had seen before. Sword and shield had no weight against them, for the ethereal flesh of these luminous beings seemed unbound by mortality. Able to move through time and space, they held sway over all dominions of the known and unknown dimensions. Through their ways we grew stronger, our society bolstered by their infinite wisdom and all-knowing power, assuring our, people, uh, our people's safety for all time, in this world and the next. Where we sharpened the blade and, mad and mastered our magic, they bolstered the soul and spirit. Death would no longer be the end for our people. The ones we call the makers, our new allies in this brutal world, have given us the security in death we fought so hard to achieve in life. We would find eternal peace, and our minds would rest easy with the knowledge that those we fought alongside in battle would join us in the lands beyond the mortal plane. The strength of our ways, the purity of our essence, would, uh, would by maker law grant us passage to the great city in the clouds. There our women and children, warriors and kin alike, would welcome us. We adopted the holy doctrine of the makers, gifted in exchange with the chance to earn eternal rest for our immortal souls in blessed Udak, Urdak, Urdak. However you say that. The covenant we held now under the embrace of our new gods fostered a peace we had never known, for they were unlike the first ones, whose presence offered no paradise from fear and the uncertainty of existence in a harsh and unforgiving world. The maker's embrace was warm and guided us into an era of spiritual prosperity. Oh, we ran out of shotgun ammo. We need to save shotgun ammo for the cacao demons. All right, let's try to be tactical with this. I'm out of plasma rifle ammo. I have some heavy cannon ammo. Let's see if we can pick up with the snipe. We have the sniper, we just haven't really used it like we should have. Let's see if we can find one of those jetpack guys, kind of pick off the jetpack early. That would be, I think that would be a pretty good way to do this. There he is. Oh, there we go, we got it. Let's go one more I don't know what kind of damage we can do to this guy. Maybe we can actually take his turret out. Did we get it? I think we did. Oh my god! That... That Rex. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay, we need to start taking advantage of the heavy cannon. Picking people off more. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, at least that didn't result in an instant death or anything. Oh, this is 
really not good. Hmm. Pretty shaky start, but... We got this. What do you guys think? Well, we don't take melee damage from this guy. And we need to save shotgun ammo for the cow demon. Still have 10 shots left. Oh man, we're getting swarmed here. Alright, there, there's the cacao demon. There we go, we got him. We got him. That was really good. Alright, now... Now we should be uh, smooth sailing, I think. Say that, you know, there's another one of these baddies. Guys, are not fun. Uh, what do we have? We got. Oh, this doesn't actually pause time. It just slows it. Man. Man, I swear, this guy. Okay. Oh, we need the goodies. We need the goodies, man. As well. Oh, we got the barrel there. Another one? Man, this game is throwing me no favors whatsoever. Come on. Come on. Ooh. This is really close, man. I'm on edge right now. Oh, Blood Punch! We need to use Blood Punch. And we can use our uh, shift ability to reposition it. It's been a couple days since I played this game in between recordings here, so... Some of the things I'm just straight up kind of forgetting about, if you will. But yeah, we definitely have more tools at our disposal here. We gotta take advantage of. Let's see, how's the ammo looking? Yeah, we got some heavy cannon. So yeah, I should look to enter... These engagements with the heavy cannon pick stuff off like this. But see, man, you take out this cannon, this guy is way less of a threat already. Like, it's just insane what difference that makes. It really is. Heavy cannon has like, plenty of ammo too. Especially if you are able to zoom in. I mean, I got the, I got that uh, upgrade. I may as well be using it, right? The mo weapon mod. Let's see. Dash. Grab a dash refill. Oh, so maybe that will help me get to. Uh, yeah, that will take me over there. Is there anything over here though? Yeah, I guess not. There's, it looks to be something up there. Maybe that's where I'm going after this. I'm not sure. Why did you actually have shotgun ammo? OP. Oh wow, we're actually up on the sword that we were looking at earlier. We started over there. Okay, what is that? Just steam, I guess. Ah, here we go. This is 
absolutely disgusting. Ugh. What's that right there, right? Yep. Come on to it. Man, this thing's do damage though. Yeah, it's best to hit these guys we don't want to hit kill them because otherwise you do a lot of damage. Oh, he died! I was gonna use him! What a maze. Alright, here we go. Even it seems like we lose our speed boost when we're in there too. Oh, man. Now we just gotta take out the remaining enemies, I believe. There's the zombies there. Do we have to kill them too? I mean, I guess, but if I must. Oh, collateral damage on that, that's pretty nice. Weapon point acquired. Uh, forget, is that something we can use right away or not? Here's my runes. Customized weapon, maybe. This is just for weapon skins, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so, because we just have the map. The arsenal. Which these are just like weapon mods, right? Oh, wait, hold on. The upgrades, yeah, that's where you get weapon points. Okay, but we, we, yeah, we have three weapon points, so it's just something, yeah, we can do now. Precision bolt. Oh, I got the mobility. I think that was nice. Could do the reload speed. Oh no, we have reload speed. We didn't get this. Yeah, let's get this. Get some move speed while we're aimed down. That might make the precision bolt a little bit more useful. Oh yeah, this is really good for this actually. I think. I honestly, I think I'm gonna start using that against uh, the arachnatrons. You can just zoom in, bam, it's an easy shot. Really simplifies things when you're able to just one shot it like that. It's a huge target when you're scoped in, too. Man, these guys are everywhere. I wonder what this is that is like consuming him, basically. Or is that part of his body. No, it looks like something else because we got these tentacles and stuff. That's where we just were, right? Hmm. Okay. That could be the point. Oh, maybe just... A puzzle like what is what's going on here well where does the game want me to go up there ah uh, oh okay there's some platforming at play here ah here we go <laughs> took me long enough to realize these little areas are pretty cool, actually. Right in the stomach. 
now we gotta enter that thing's body. Ugh. Gross. I guess this is just a double dash. Maybe just one dash. Gotta say, I do like the platforming thus far. Uh. Select Sentinel Crystal. Ah, okay. So we found this for upping our stats. I feel like we probably missed a lot of these Sentinel Crystals, to be honest, but we'll see here. Well, now we know what Blood Punch is. I think I'm at max health a lot more than I'm at max armor. Health or armor, what's more useful? Probably health, right? I would think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one here. Well, I mean, I did get this one for dropping armor at a faster rate. So maybe max armor. Well, I feel like I'm never at max armor, really. So I'll do this. And then get more health. Those fights have been a bit dodgy. A little extra HP at this point would probably be helpful. Sort of on the lookout for the worms. I guess there's just one in this case. I don't know what is that? Is that just a regular zombie? Oh shit, I'm like, where's that coming from? I hear it, but man, it's so good for this. Good on that. Ah. Close one. Okay, now I'm at full health. Oh, no, I'm not at full health because I have more HP now than I did before. Is there anyone else I can pick off? There's a codex over there. Whoa, hello, he dropped down right next to me. Histories of the Sentinels, part three. With machine with machine and enchantment of the makers, the Argenta brought our newfound clarity to the disparate realms of the Empyrean world. Or Empyrean Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of Khan Maker of the Khan Maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and people unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels and fought for the freedom of all peoples from the grasps of those who from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil not our own not our own, the blood we shed in foreign land safeguarded Argentinur, and the sons and daughters that defended it. Through the, strange, through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed, and our beliefs became our own. Our armies swelled. As the Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets, the Khan of the Makers approached King Rowan on his throne. He sensed his god restless by her disquiet manner. The king and Khan spoke, and the god revealed, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism in the blood of the Argenta. A test would be required to identify its host among us. She spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of our warriors. Only those that proved worthy would be tested, for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient of our legion. The, div the divinity machine, a great tribute to maker Scolaris, 
would help us to cleanse any impurities from our flock, ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the maker realm that awaited in the afterlife. The malicious one, if not exhumed from our ranks, would jeopardize our safe passage to the heavenly realm of Urdak. The dark one was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the mother god, through divin divination and maker sight, would determine when he stood before them. The makers were truth, and only their unclouded eyes could find the one who was marked. The prophecy of the unholy one was written, but through the ages the warning grew faint until only the con maker herself and the high priest of the order Deeg still whispered of he that would one day come to threaten their way of light. Yeah, so it looks like they worship these things as like divine. Oh man, it's so hard to get the other executions. And it's like no normally he's right square in front of you like that. I'll just have to walk around him if I want to get some cooler executions. Ah, okay. Let's see where where to wrap this way. I wonder if there's not fall damage, because in the in the previous game when you fell from pretty far away, it said uh, impact compensation. But now it doesn't really uh oh. Oh I'm screwed. Uh, oh! Nice! That was quick thinking there. Oh man. That is not a very good way to go. <laughs> oh, this gets intense sometimes, I swear. I didn't even have to go up there, right? I could have rushed down here. Oh, man. Uh, no thanks, I think I'll just go around you. <laughs> I'm surprised they let me just do that. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. Betrayer, he said. Who's this? Mm. Uh, okay. What's going on there? Ah, I see. This is just an extra thing right here. Oh man, we have to time this. 